how to turn your salesforce app exchange idea into reality in this particular thing we are going to talk about the step by step guide of what are the steps involved in order to convert your idea into a reality the, and reality is nothing but getting your app exchange application live on to the platform and earning some money out of it so shall we start yes so all right. uh, it's going to be like step by step guide which we are going to understand it and it's all whenever we are working on any product it's always start with an idea that one person is thinking this idea to solve this solution it always start from that so again when it comes to the idea what idea defining the idea defining the idea defining the solution what are you trying to build why are you trying to build and for whom, whom are, are you trying to build there are three major questions which we always understand or cater when it comes to the idea that what is your audience what purpose you are solving and why uh, why you are trying to build it like it's for it's about the purpose solving and when it comes to the idea after idea you need to design that idea into a technical aspects architecture designing is also a key part uh, of uh, uh, next step of uh, listing a uh, building an application so the second step is architecture design yes. the first step was setting the idea yes. in setting the idea there were three pointers what are you trying to build what, what is the problem that you are trying to solve what is the what solution is the solution and why you are trying to why you trying to solve it now for whom are you trying to solve it brother whom, what why no alali <laughs> you can't do so what are you trying to build uh why you, why are you trying, trying to, build to build it and for whom you are trying to build all right makes sense three. second uh step so second is going to be uh, architecture design that uh, in architecture design is basically when it comes to, uh, its majorly role of mind where we understand the uh, salesforce capabilities and and, and uh, what product or what vision they are having and what uh, product they want to build and their timelines how much time it would going to be and what is the road map of it how what resources needed to build those solutions and again is going to be uh, aligning the development teams that whether you have to uh, uh, get a in house your in house applications or in house team is going to build that application if you are having the capability or if you are partnering with any other company or if you are outsourcing any uh, any of the features or any other development company to do it and when defining the partnership is with the op pdo partners that you partner with them and they will guide you each and every steps and you are just helping to uh, explain your vision and but when it comes to the outsourcing outsourcing is basically a different implementation partners who have the capability to develop the develop on top of salesforce and they build application for you like us we also do the uh, implementations for the different uh, the customers and we also are pdo partners and pdo expert to to give them a guidance that okay you have to do these are things to complete this from idea to a reality got it next is going to be a partnership agreement of salesforce and it's going to be like uh, some compliances some agreements which you need to take care before going for a listing and uh, whether you uh, you are having a good team you are having those certifications or whether it comes to the uh, compliances your uh, because G salesforce whenever it comes with they comes with all the compliances and the agreements whether you are going to publish free application or paid applications everything they come into a detail and what your support and maintenance when it comes to your application so all these agreement initially they start uh, uh, and and now it can it comes to the pam we who started uh, communicating with you to understand more about your application and how you are going to proceed it is is it really legal technical or something like that uh not the technical it's more over about uh, uh, legality and the basic terms and conditions basic of it basic terms and condition which you need to follow when you are listing the on a app exchange application makes sense then it going to be design and development that core grill of uh, uh, building a uh, building entire wall kind of things so we utilize all salesforce tools we utilize uh, salesforce best practices to make sure that it comes under the security guidelines which uh, salesforce provide because whenever we are building an application we need to submit it to security review so okay. to ensure that we follow all those guidelines we 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 make sure that uh, on a development term the development side that uh, uh, we cover all the aspects of it and all the tools which is uh, uh, benef which is giving benefit to building the application we we make sure of it we have it got it and uh, next is going to be like 
we we completed development now is going to be the testing part and the quality assurance so designing basically includes prototyping yes after prototyping you get it into development you just divide it into different different small features hmm. you d- align different different teams to get all of these features developed uh, yes. coded and everything and uh, after getting uh, all of these features developed one by one it's not a uh, st- what of all model where you just completely it's, dev- agile. it's agile absolutely agile uh, this is something that i wanted to focus on uh, over here and of course you meant the same yes. uh, so in 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 small chunks in small sprints in small deliverables we just divide the complete development after getting the architecture done and then we start devel- developing, developing and delivering and those all of those uh, features mm-hmm. in order for the end user or in order for the uh, for the person who has the idea to get it tested whether it is working according mm-hmm. to the requirements that they suggested or not right so that's exactly where that's we start exactly. and uh, it goes to the testing side when uh, as the, as the sprint evolves right yes. uh, as soon as the feature gets developed it you test it you make sure that the quality uh, is assured and there are uh, it is exactly doing the job what is ex- what it is expected to do yes all right and and, and then it's going to be a bug free application of course <laughs> <laughs> and that's the aim should be and that's yes. that's that is what the aim should be in uh, otherwise there's security review that is still waiting for us <laughs> so yes. uh l- let's talk about the next step next after getting all of this these sprint cycles in the application developed uh, we developed the application we tested it properly and now it's it's now it's completely packaged yes. and ready to be Uh, ready to submit or ready to present to the sales force to get to the next step uh, all right get it listed on the app exchange yes all right uh now we, now previously that when it comes to the listing they have the business plan approval the terminology what they change hmm. now the new terminology what they introduce in our re, uh, recent changes it's about listing approval where they uh, where as a part uh, as a implementation partner or as a, a person who is publishing the uh, application they need to submit the business ideas what business idea that your application is solving what technical details or technical aspects you are having your architecture what is the architecture and sometime it happens that they ask for a small product demo that what exactly your product is fulfilling so it come all it comes to the application listing you submit an application it comes to a one or two week of cycle where they f- perform all these activities and after that they comes to a, a agreement that okay you your business plan is approved now you go to the next step to publish your uh, or submit your application to the security review and that is all going to be on a partner portal that where you have to uh, like add your listing and uh, do all these activities and now it comes to the security review so again security review is the first of all explain us what exactly security review is so security review is a uh, like it's a guideline which or or a, or or we can say it's a scanner it's a process it's a sc- it's a process to analyze your entire product and each and everything they understand and they in depth who who are they in here the sales force all right the sales force team sales so sales force has got a team review team yeah they all already right. have a sales force review team and they already have some uh, scanners pre built scanners which we, we automated scanners automated scanners right. where the review code they test the vulnerabilities if you are having any vulnerabilities in your uh in your code, application or its code application and they make sure that any compliances you are not breaking while re- performing the secu- there, there are no security breaches into the customer's yes. data there are the, all the compliances are being followed there are no vulnerab- vulnerabilities of the application to reach out some uh, government limits or yes. something like that so all of these get scanned and the, then the sales force team also reviews the code that you have written down yes. whether it is doing the the job that you have described it as or it is doing even more than just that yeah. so they just make sure whether it is uh, up to the mark or not for the end consumers for or, yes. or for the end users who will be using it uh, because of course if you are listing it an app uh, if if there if you are listing it onto it, it onto their marketplace their credibility is also onto the onto the line yes, exactly. if uh, a, a if a not so good application gets installed into some of their customers uh, org then it is going to uh, question for sales for sales for credibility as well so this this is a serious process that salesforce gets through and the one uh, the gentleman who was asking whether we can uh, develop and build an application on our own uh, so you can of course definitely there's no doubt that you cannot but the main thing is getting the security review done is also a process in itself and it's a big enough process where uh, 
a lot of expert people also kind of uh, i mean go here and there so you need expertise into getting these uh, security reviews done because you need to know what all things need to like what all things you need to make sure uh, while submitting for the security review because of course it costs you some money not some but a lot of so <laughs> so the lesser the security review uh, you're going to go through the lesser amount of money that you will be investing into getting your apex uh, apex in the application listed so yeah i mean so that's why one should uh, prefer getting someone experienced guidance and consultancy uh, rather than just getting it all done by themselves and, and and but still but still it's doable being very honest and along with that uh, many people don't know about the time period of the security review as well that how much time it will go for a security review and whether we are going to have the security review result or not because many times they uh, they submit their uh, application and they don't know what is the issue so it's not a case salesforce do provide a report if there is going to be a vulnerability and again it's going to be a four to uh, four to six week process where they review all the codes and after that they will provide you a result whether you are passed or not so hmm. whenever so it's a are, long process yeah whenever we are uh, going for or security review security review we need to understand that how much time it going to be invested in over there hmm and that's a good the, the more the security review uh, cycles you're going to have the more time you're going to be wasting kind of into getting the security review done so it's better to get it done on the first go itself yeah and can you help I, them go do that yeah i, I, I can easily <laughs> so uh, again one more point i need to add that uh, there are some instances that once you submit for security review and it's got passed and next time it's going to be instant security review pass you don't need to uh, go for a four to six week next time it's okay. the first investment you have to put it got it got it so so later they must be only checking the challenges that they are facing you can just silent it yes. what is it for <laughs> it's allowed <laughs> for drinking water <laughs> yes <laughs> all right uh so yeah uh link your solution no no not link your solution uh so 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 the second time you put it into the security review process do they only review uh i mean do they only review the challenges that they've raised to you or they again go through and scan the complete application if your application is not passed on first time hmm? then they uh, run the entire process again to review whole application but then how how does it happen in the in in, in less time then so if your application is passed then it's going to be a less time no no see 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 first time you've created a uh, you, i you've created a package huh? and i submitted for the security review hmm? and they come up with vulnerabilities hmm? okay and second so now are they going to and in the second time let's say you have second time it's going to be lesser time lesser time what what i mean that it's going to be a 2 to 3 week of process they decrease because they already scanned or ha so some, now they they are only going to test your application based on the vulnerability vulnerabilities that they have suggested you yes and they, they are not going to test the rest of the application which no. they have already reviewed earlier they All they right. they reduces the time frame ha 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 makes sense link your solution so uh, previously we have the uh, on on app exchange that uh, we need to add a, a solution on apps but now they change it to label as a link your solution where you can update the versions where you can change the uh, application names and all the things which you can uh, connect over the over the listing and live it so it's going to be listing your application connecting your technology with your business plans or listing then through that you can make it publish on app exchange makes sense next and maintenance and support and maintenance support is is a regular process recurring process where you have to uh, maintain your applications and make sure you provide a good support of your there are bug fixes happening there are challenges there with are the challenges customers with the customers say. happening and you're catering all the uh, challenges from the customers you are make sure the reviews are getting proper on your listing and along with that if you are creating a new versions you publish it timely and inform your or uh, uh, do the marketing of your features new features accordingly got it uh, so there are two sense that i want to put it into uh, testing and quality assurance of the app exchange uh, idea to reality life cycle and these two sense are uh, 
See, it's not the regular testing or the quality assurance that we do while we create an app exchange application. You need to just not test an application onto the same environment where, where you are developing it. You need to test it with different licenses. You need to test it with different integrations that are done on different uh, yes. platforms or different orgs because you're not creating it for one org. You're creating it for hundreds or thousands of those orgs. And if not tested well on enough of these orgs, it is not going to function as expected, right? Because there are- It should be compatible. It should be compatible with each and every version of Salesforce, each and every licensing models, everything, right? So there are so many nuances. So we just don't need to make sure that whether our code is working fine or not. We have to also make sure whether it is working fine here or not, or not. here or not, here or not. So there are like tens of these things that we also have to make sure, uh, which is exactly where this maintenance and support uh, is very much required because a lot of time what happens is whenever new, you onboard new customers and there are already some customized implementation that are being uh, that are implemented into their org, uh, which they came up with some some challenges that your your packages is, is contradicting with our solutions uh, and like that. So exactly. Make sure. So in in all of those situations, uh, after even after creating your application, you need a team to implement it into their org yes. and resolve all of those issues, which is exactly what we do for we a do lot of our clients. Yes. So <laughs> so. So, uh, in order to get it implemented and in order to even get it a little, little bit tweaked, Tweaks. sometimes uh, in order to get it adopted and uh, adapted, adapted into the Salesforce org of your client, uh, yes. you need this maintenance support. And, and hence it is not a recurring, uh, hence it's not a one time job, it's a recurring one, which is the myth we were talking about. What were you saying? And it's important. It's very important.